include everything. Alright guys, so by popular demand we are starting the advanced front end projects for free code camp. The first one we're going to get started on here is to build a Pomodoro clock. We're going to build exactly what this looks like. Uh, we'll go ahead and start it um, just so you can kind of see. It's a very basic thing. Uh, maybe down the road we'll add some like animation. But basically it just counts down. That's it. And then when it goes through the break it will give us the ability to reset. We'll fulfill all our user stories. So let's go ahead and get started on this. First thing to do, uh, go ahead and open up CodePen if you're not already, not already there. Uh, name your project. I'm going to name this YouTube uh, Pomodoro Clock. I use jQuery, so I'm going to import jQuery. I also use Bootstrap, so I'm going to go ahead and import that as well. Just going to save that. Cool. So um, how I normally like to start this off is I like to import, um, I like to basically set the page up. So that's what we're going to do here. Um, so first thing that I set up was a div class, a uh, div here. This is just going to be the larger div. We'll give it a class later once we have some, some context of what we're going to put in here. And from within here, we're going to add a h1. And we're just going to say build a Pomodoro clock slash h1. So, and then we're going to give an h3 here. Goes into a little little detail, free code, camp, advanced, front end projects slash h3. Pretty cool. So, um, Next thing I did was I set up a timer time div. Now a time div is basically just going to store the buttons and the uh, the input for the session time. So we'll go ahead and set that div up. So div class. This should probably be an ID. Um, but uh, for the time being, we'll just keep it the same as my code. It's always interesting how much of your code you see you can improve upon as you're making a video. <laughs> so um, don't think that you're like, oh man, only I write bad code, but uh, just know that's part of the process, man. You can always do things a little bit better every time, which is why I kind of leave these open-ended. So the next thing I did was I created H1, and we're going to give a lot of things IDs because we're going to hide a lot of these and show a lot of these things. So we'll go ahead and start here. And we're going to say ID title one. And we'll just go ahead and close this. And this is just going to be our session time. Cool. So this is basically just going to let everyone know what it is that the buttons and are adding and subtracting to. So we have our session time. Up next, we're just going to create an empty anchor tag here. And this is going to be the subtract button for the um, minus five minutes on the uh, session time. So we're just going to give this a bootstrap class equal to btn, btn-primary. Obviously, if you don't like uh, the way this looks, change it. Um, I kind of use bootstrap, so if you don't know a lot about styling, um, bootstrap's a great resource, and it gets you... Uh, familiar with something that a lot of people are used. So we actually needed that to be a, um, a subtraction. So excuse me here. So, minus. so there's our minus. And we gave an ID because later on we're going to target this ID. And the next thing that we can do here is we can go ahead and put the number five. Now the way I ended up writing my JavaScript was that we'll eventually just uh, change the value of this H2 that we're going to at this point call, uh, give an ID of num, probably want to come up with a better ID. And by default, uh, for testing purposes, we're just going to set this to 5 so that we can test, but you're going to need to change this to 25 down the road. So we'll go ahead and close that. So there's our H2. And now we have a, uh, we'll do the addition here. So we'll say, uh, let's see. This was the 
uh, same thing as our subtraction. We're going to set up an empty href tag here. And we're going to give it class equal to btn, btn-primary. Then we're going to add id here of minus 5 clock. Oops. Oops. We need to swap these. Control X. Control V. Control X. Control V. All right, and then we're gonna put a plus sign on that, and then we're gonna close that up. So we're basically gonna do the same thing that we just did right now with what we have here. So we have our plus minus. We're also going to add a reset tag. Now you didn't see this in the intro of this video because uh, it's hidden right in, right away, but we haven't got to that point yet. So same, same thing, btn, btn-primary. Now this will be used later on to reset the values so that if we wanted to run our Pomodoro clock again, you can. You can also have this go in a, a loop. Um, I decided not to go down that route. I just decided that if I wanted to keep working, I would, and I would just click reset. Let's go ahead. All right, so here is our time div. Now that we have that set up, what we're gonna set up next is a break div. We have a class. Oh, actually, I set this one to an ID. So, and while we're at it, we might as well switch this class here to an ID. Uh, we only use it one time. It would be better practice. Let's go ahead and close our div. And at this time, uh, to save a little bit of time, we're going to go ahead and copy over since most of this is the same. Uh, skip the reset. We're going to copy the h1, the anchor tag, the h2, the other anchor tag, and then we're going to change the values. So in session, instead of session time, we're going to have break time. And instead of minus 5 clock, we're going to change that to minus 5 break. Um, again, uh, you may want to name these things a little bit better than I did. I kind of just name them what first comes to mind. Uh, we're going to add 5 break as well. And then this was break num. Cool. Once we have that outside of the div, I created a start button. This will basically just start your anchor tag, or start your um, your logic. So, or start your Pomodoro clock rather. And with same thing, I just use btn btn dash primary. And then I gave it an ID equal to start. That's lowercase. With the text start, close the anchor tag. All right, let's save that. So we have everything set up in our HTML right now. Um, doesn't look too pretty. In the next video, what we'll do is we'll get the CSS running and so that you can see this uh, so you can kind of see it looking pretty before we get started with the logic. So we'll do that in the next video. As always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my collaboration with Eric Surf 6 going over how to get started coding. And if you're looking for some coding help, go to Code Mentor using the annotation or card. And if you're looking for internships or part-time jobs or full-time jobs as a student or a recent grad, check out wayup.com. See you guys next time.